Happy Pass Welcome to Bison TV as we bring in the highlights of a complete weekend's worth of action. We begin on Saturday the 19th of February when the Basingstoke Bison welcome the Sheffield Steel Dogs into the arena. This should be a cracker of a game. It was a cracker of a game and I'm sure a lot of you are tuning in for just a couple of reasons. My co-commentator for that night was Nigel Simmons. I said I wasn't going to talk as much, and I'm finding myself uh, just continually going and going. It comes natural to you, just spear oh, it out. Oh, I know, tell me about it. I've got another game tomorrow night, is it? <laughs> it's a big week, this has been four games in a week. I haven't done this for a little while. Bice are going to have to battle this one out of their own zone. It will be a turnover putt, though, as Edgar Brevis will collect this one. Still battling in now, near and deep. Skeen's in there as well. Eventually, the Steel Dogs get it away. We'll look for the man in the slot. Skeen holds his man up, though. Brevis trying to battle it with Davis, and Davies desperately trying to skate away from him, being held up, but nice. still comes away with it, and gets the pass off to Morian, 2-2 here for the Bison. Kubenko will spot it just in the zone, he'll rush around his man with consummate ease, and will take it in deep to try and set up the play here for the Bison. Moria at the net still, Kubenko will go in on the forehand, he still gets the shot off, oh. that's the goal! That's great individual play there from Victor Kubenko, get the puck alive, give full credit to Ben Davies though, absolutely battled that one out of his own zone. up by one. Uh, the two players at the moment that are so hot, Ben Davis and Victor Kabenko, they're just awesome. Ben just never gave up on the puck. And the amount of skill, skill Victor possessed there. Simply superb, but here come the Steel Dogs again. They force it across the net. And maybe another two or two break here for the Bison. Lauko's got the sport, Kieran Long. Kieran Long drives it wide now. Long will go in behind the net, trying to get this out to Lauko. There's Jim! There's a goal for the Bison to Bison. Very quickly putting another on the scoreboard. Hey, that flame hasn't gone down from Thursday night yet. Great play there by the Bison. Lauko spotted Long on the far side. He took it in deep, but the layoff now chin in the slot. So it's 16 and 6 to the over first. The Bison double their advantage. Redmond comes away with the win into Wiggins on the near side. He's going to have to battle this one around under a lot of pressure. Best skips his oh. man, but then loses it on a bubble on the boards. Still dogs will try and clear, and a little tip on means Reynolds will collect it deep in his own zone. He'll have to wheel this one around his net if he's to get anything out of it. And some good interchanges just do it, but Reynolds will be under pressure to get it out to Best on the point. Best tip on will take it out of the zone quite handily. Redmond follows yeah. in and takes oh, Cloutman with it as nearly well. Again. Nearly two in. Well, there'll be three games now where Cloutman's fallen on his little derriere, dare we say. Derriere. Derriere. Instead, it will be Redmond now take it forward over the red line, but he fakes the pass into oh. Wiggins and it completely throws everyone off it. Didn't really fake it, he missed it. Here goes Hayward forward. His shot and dump in will force the uh, Bison on the back foot. They've got a chance in the middle. Yeah. They find Sykes. Oh. And there's a goal for the Sheffield Steel Dogs. Just one man left free running into the middle there. Great sight from the Steel Dogs to find him. And it's Chris Sykes with the goal. So 17 and 33 to go in the second. The Steel Dogs have brought it back to a one goal game. Thanks to Chris Sykes. Bison now trying trouble. to work this oh, one go, forward. Go. And we'll do Redmond three on three break it. Into Best on the far side. He takes it forward. Looking for the tip of Redmond. Just goes past the post. Oakford should be able to keep this one in the zone with Redmond and Wiggins. Wiggins goes in on his man, drives him into the board. The support comes along from Best, and the Bison will wheel this one. There's a oh. chance, back door for the man, Kieran. Yes. What a lovely goal for the basic oh, oh, Bison. Oh, oh, oh. When the fans read the score sheet on this one, they'll see Mindy Kieran and they'll go, Blue Knight Screamer. That was anything but. Lovely setup and rotation by the Bison. The pass into Kieran, took it on the backhand, and just nicked it home. Eight minutes and 56 to go in the second. The Bison, a 3 1 in front. Sweet. Sneak play by Nicky Chin there, just opening up the ice. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to stay he's offside. In. Yeah, it was quite obviously, and a little oh, hit, again. hit by Grimanis. Chin is going to go. Romanis gets all he deserves there. Late cheap shots all night long. And it takes the captain, Nicky Chin, to stand up. A couple of punches. Not the cleanest fight you're ever going to see. But Nicky Chin having to do the job for his side. You can't have a player go out there and just cheap shot at every opportunity. And that's what he gets for his desserts.
and now we'll wheel it out. And look at this, the Bison could break it. Wiggins oh. just levels Grimanis. Yeah. Grimanis wasn't even wanting it. Wiggins won't get the pass into best in front. Oh, oh just past the post. Deserve more. Grimanis is a goon. I'm sorry, I've lost all respect for him. There's another big hit from Wiggins. And Johnson goes off. in there. And oh, oh that's a slash in it. It's all cleaned up. Johnson and Wiggins went out. And Johnson had to come in and protect Wiggins. I can understand that. But we're still going down in the corner here. Grimanis went straight up the ice and was throwing in the guys behind the play. Absolutely disgraceful from Grimanis there. No eye on the puck at all. Just going in behind the play, trying to throw at anyone. The Bison now take it forward through Redmond. Redmond looking to skate around his man. Takes a oh. hit from behind. Nothing called on the play. Kibenko goes in there, just gives Grimanis a bit of a stick to the face there, just to remind him, best to oh, go no, going in going. there. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. I tell you what, Callum Best standing his ground there against Morris. Got a couple of big ones up on there. I score that a very good draw between the two of them there. Yeah. They both got a big one off each. Best standing up for his man. Morris takes his seat as well. He's fired hey, up. We've seen some silly little battles. That was a good one in the middle there. Yeah, he took one good hit in the first, and then he came back with an absolute launcher. Give the Steel Dogs their credit. Came out and really put up a tough performance there against the Bison, but obviously. Everybody's going to be talking about those. I'm mean, imagine dropthegloves.com right now. There is probably this video just posted on their wall. Next night, a completely different challenge for the Bison. They face the Milton Keynes Lightning on Sunday, the 20th of February. End of a very long week for the Bison that included getting to that EPL Cup final. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this one pans out. Joining me in the commentary box for this game is Daniel Murphy. Lightning come away with the puck in the zone. Last 30 seconds. They'll want to spend it camped out in the zone if they can. It's going to be wheeled around instead. Chin steps in on his man. Still the Lightning have it, a dangerous goal here. Could be a, a likely possibility as it's wheeled very well. Bison desperate hold up, still in front there, and it goes in! We're saying about how important it is you don't concede a goal late in the period. 16 and three to go. All the hard work the Bison have put in for the last 20 minutes just disappeared. Might have been Nick Paul with the late touch, there's certainly plenty of sticks in there. 16 and point three to go in the first. The Lightning open the scoring. Agonisingly so, and it's a bit of a let off for the Lightning there. Kiras will want another one in there. He's got the sights on now. The earlier he gets the sights on from the point, the better. Look at that interchange. Look at it come. Morier, Kibenko. They'll drive this one forward. Morier looking for Kibenko. Follows in there hard on the netty. Then Davies tries to collect it in there. Instead, Gary Clark will wheel it out. Great pass out to find Blaz Emersick. Emersick takes forward now. He looks to wheel around his man. Stood up by Reynolds, but Clark's got it for the snipe. And that's where you don't want to give Gary Clark the opportunity with the puck. The play just broke up, and Gary Clark wheeled into the zone and let fly. So it's 16 and 33 to go in the second. The Milton King Lightning are two in front. Bizarre. So 13 and 38. Bison power play ends. We're going to have four on four on the ice. And a good play there by Ben Davies. A very smart win. And Davies skates round one, then gets held up twice, gets pulled down. Where's the call on that one? Davies has still got it in tight, gets it up once, gets it up twice! Great penalty from Ben Davies there! Fully deserves that goal! Gets pulled down on the play, no play made! Then you play to the whistle, Davies goes in! I think he got away with one though, Thompson, very luckily! 13 and 26 to go, it's one all up, it's 2 1! Apologies, I'm right ahead of myself! Lauko gets it back to Kiris on the point, he's driven in hard, Lauko will have to battle in there against Farn. The clearance comes around the ball, take that funny deflection off the Zamboni doors. How many times have you seen that this year here? That Zamboni door is becoming a bit of a nightmare for opposing teams. Ronneman tries to get it off McPherson, McPherson can only turn and dump with 5 and 25 to go. Rick Skeen's pass in, finds Ronneman. Ronneman goes across ice trying to find Lauko, the bounce off the board, Lauko's in there! That's opportunistic from the Bison, but that's what Andre Lauko's here for. The strike comes in, and the comeback pigs have done it again. It was defensive errors that cost the Bison earlier. It's 
It's a massive one from the Lightning that sees Andre Lauco coming up a draw with five and 16 to go in the first. And it just looks at Christian Air just staring at his goaltender. Just well, staring into the heavens about what he's just done there. He's just tried to get his eye off the puck at the wrong moment of time. And when you have that man, Andre Lauco, in behind, he missed one chance earlier, but he's not going to miss a second one. Give him an opportunity. And the Bison have done, done it again. And just feel this arena. Just feel it's turning around in it. It's all with the Bison now. And can they go on and get the win? But hello, shots it. But ever since, going to break. Draw one break. Ever six in, lays it across shot. That's a great comeback from the Lightning. A response of the highest order. Just got the layoff in the slot. So with five minutes and eight to go in the first, the Lightning caught them. The Bison caught that hammer this one up. The Lightning actually brought this level. How long do you think they can give it to the, the, for the extra skater? Final minute, final minute, they won't go before then. Final minute. Steve Morian does not fall before then, it's a one goal game. Kibenko's shot comes in, trying to find Moria. Breaks up, maybe a chance, Kibenko gets round his man! Kibenko gets in across! There's the equaliser for the basic stone Bison! And who else is it but Victor Kibenko, the slowback machine! Never breaks! Two very two to go in the third! The boys are tying up once again! Andre Lauko for the Basin Stoke Bison against Barry Hollyhead of the Millsman Kings Lightning. The first of the penalty shot shootout here to the side. Who will take the extra points in this vital EPL League match? The Bison came from behind. Can they cap a remarkable night by truly coming from behind and taking the penalty shot victory? Your first one is Andre Lauko against Barry Hollyhead. And Thompson blows his whistle. Andre Lauko, a left hand shooter, will take this one. Comes in over the blue line now. Full hand shot, it's a great play from Barry Hollyhead on it. A very good save there by Barry Hollyhead. Very vital early doors there for the Lightning. Now, who's coming out for them? I want to say this is Monia Kalgoum. Um, um, what's his face, the captain? Oh, it's the captain. What's his face, Carr, the captain? The Adam one. Carr. <laughs> good, that's going in the highlights. Adam Carr then against. I should know, he scored last time in Milton Keynes. Why am I guessing this one? Adam Carr then will face Dean Skins in the first penalty shot for the Milton Keynes Lightning after the Basingstoke Bison's miss. Just waiting for Matt Thompson to blow his whistle as Adam Carr will now come forward. Right-hand shooter, expecting to go five-hole. Does it go five-hole? Throws it over the glove in A Great finish from Adam Carr there. And the Milton Keynes Lightning go one up. They make five-hole last time in Milton Keynes. This time he went high, and that's a great finish. Yeah, great finish, as you say. He's just waiting for Skins always to make a move. Saw the... Uh, picked his spot. And put an accurate shot in, and a great goal. So who else do you turn to at this time of the game, then? There's only really one option. Just hope there's no holes in those nets. Just hope there's no holes, exactly. Steve Moria, then, will take on Barry Hollyhead for this one. Just keeps lightning one up as Moria comes forward. Left-hand shooter, gets control of the puck. Comes inside, it's a good save by Hollyhead. Very good save. He thought he bit early. Mo tried to drag him across, but Hollyhead stood firm and made the save. So, if the Milton Keys Lightning, if Blas Emersick, oh, what a man to have come out and hit the penalty shots now. Scored, of course, the playoff winning penalty shot last season for the Slough Jets against the Guildford Flames. Matt Thompson was the referee that day as well. Emersick against Skins, who was obviously playing for the Guildford Flames that day, but was not the starting netminder. So Emersick v Skins is the left-hand shooter. Ever six in and fast, there's a good save by Dean Skins there. Stood strong and tall. Ever six went high on him, and Dino just got in the way of it. So the Bison are going to turn to Victor Kibenko. So Victor Kibenko then against Barry Hollyhead. He needs to score this one for the Bison to stay in the game and stay in the penalty shots. The Slovak machine against Barry Hollyhead. It's like a face off out there, these two. There we go, Kibenko, left hand shooter, comes in. No, oh, saved on the line, I thought he had just stuck it in. Victor Kibenko looks as shocked as anyone that Oli had just threw a pan out and made the save on that. The boys had taken up one point, having come from behind twice in the game. But it's the middle piece that you'll take a vital two points. Tough result there for the Bison, but they'll come away happy with that at the end of the day. They took a point, came from behind twice to really pull that one back level. And it's a good sign as we roll into that final month of the season. The last game of February, the last game that you can enjoy it, watching here at the arena is an absolute cracker. It's the Deadwood Derby once again returning to the arena on Saturday the 26th of February in the Basin State Bison take on the Slough Jets. It's a 6.30 face-off. 
and tickets are available from the arena box office on 01256 355 266. Don't forget as well, Wednesday 9th of March, the EPL Cup, uh, I mean, EPL Cup final first leg is here at the base of the arena. It's a 7.30 face-off. It will be against either the Slough Jets or the Guildford Flames. Take your pick. We'll find out soon enough. But tickets are available for that game from now from the arena boxes for no one to a 5-6-3-5-5-2-6. We'll turn the TV, of course, via the official base note by the website at www.bstockmason.co.uk. And, of course, you can purchase all your game night DVDs from this year at bisontv.boltactionmedia.co.uk. Well, it's been a Bison TV production brought to you by Bolt Action Media in association with the Basingstoke Bison. But from all of us here, until next time... <laughs>